Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we'll be reviewing the, the whole BGCSE syllabus again, guys. So let's get ready. Remember, the object here is not to memorize how to work past questions, but for you to be exposed to strategies you can use to solve any question that they give you on the BGCSE mathematics exam, especially paper three. That's where you would really need to be able to work and solve problems. Now remember, I will give you the questions, then you work fast, and here we go. Number one, integers, first thing, you need to be able to write irrational numbers, prime numbers, integers, square numbers, cube numbers. Okay, so find those numbers and write them for me. Remember, if I say irrational numbers, it'd be more than one. If I say square number, then it's only one square number. So write these numbers first. Let's go. Let's see if you can get this done. You don't need a calculator for this. Just write your answers, guys. Got it? Okay, let's move on. Factors and multiples. Two runners go around a racetrack repeatedly. The first runner takes 75 seconds to complete a lap. The other runner takes 105 seconds. 105 seconds to complete a lap. They began together the starting line and continued at this pace. Calculate the length of time in minutes and seconds that would have elapsed before the runners are together again at the starting line. Do not let the problem scare you. A lot of words. But it's a simple process you would have to do to answer it. So go ahead and work it. Remember, it comes under factors and multiples. So that, that gives you a clue. But you can work it. Go ahead, get it done. You need your calculator for this one. Do it quickly. Got it? Number three, decimal place and significant figures. Evaluate 0 0.0359 over 52.3. 9 minus 51.98. Write your answer correct to two significant figures in one decimal place. You need your calculator. Get it done quickly. Use a calculator. Work it out. Then give your answer to two significant figures. Then give your answer to one decimal place. Do it on the calculator. You can't duck these on the exam, so you have to know the right answers correct to significant figures. Certain significant figures are a certain number of decimal places. You have to be able to do it. So practice. Then number four, read. Six kilograms of fruit costs nineteen dollars ninety-two cents. A. Calculate the cost of three point five kilograms of the same fruit. B. Find the weight of the fruit if the cost was four hundred ninety-eight dollars. So you're using the fact that six kilograms cost $19.92. Go ahead and work it. Now you don't know what type problem in a rate they would throw at you. So you need to look at different questions and be able to work any type question that they give you like this. Okay, we move on to number five percentage. Last week, Tom bought a shirt on sale for $26. This week, the regular price of the same shirt is $40. Calculate his actual savings, A and B. His savings as a percentage of the regular price. Go ahead, easy, work it quickly. Do calculate his actual savings first because you're gonna have to use that to calculate his savings as a percentage of the regular price. A simple percentage problem that they can give you that you should be able to solve very quickly. Use your calculator, guys. Got it? And we move on to number six holiday loading. Re earns forty one thousand nine hundred sixty four dollars per annum. A holiday weekly loading of 79% was applied to this normal pay for four weeks. Calculate its total weekly pay when the holiday loading was applied. Okay, so he earns $41,964 a year. 
So this is a usual type questions where um, 17 and a half percent is is the rate that they use for for holiday loading. So you have to be able to use that to work it or any type question like it. Okay, you got it. Yes. Number seven. Kieran decorated her mother's birthday cake. One third of the candles were pink. Three eighths were yellow. One quarter were blue. And the remaining two candles were white. Calculate the fractions of the candles that were white. A and B. The total number of candles on the cake. Fractions. So the questions here could, could be in any form. So something like this. You just have to figure it out. Use the fractions and work it. Your calculator may not help you here. But you should know how to handle fractions and to add and subtract and work. And multiply. Got it? Number eight, exponents. If x is equal to 2 times 10 to negative 5 and y is equal to 5 times 10 to the 2, calculate giving your answers in exponent form. Remember, that's important. Give your answer in exponent form. Uh, 1 xy and 2 x divided by y. Once you know the rules for exponents, you're okay. Just go ahead. You're multiplying first and then you're dividing. Remember, you have to give your answer in exponent form. And I told you once you have a calculator, you can just use it at the beginning and, and multiply the, the numbers you get, then divide and then. Just write the answers you get on the calculator. The calculator will work these. And number nine, in the season radicals, A, evaluate a half to the negative three, and B, simplify eight A cubed all to the two-third power. So once you know how to deal with negative, if you have a negative power, negative exponent, you should need to know what to do. And then the next one, you have a fraction that is an exponent outside of the brackets, outside of the parentheses. You need to know what to do there as well. And remember, you're dealing with in B, the number and the letter. So don't forget. Work it. You can do that. Do it quickly. Here we go to number... 10 matrices. If A is equal to negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 3, find A to the negative 1, or we want the inverse of A, and they give you the formula, guys. The inverse is if you have a matrix A, B, C, D, the inverse is 1 over A times D minus B times C, and you multiply that, where you switch the, the numbers in the matrix, where it be D, negative B, negative C, A. So they give you the formula to use, just put your numbers in and work, and then you'd get it. Go ahead, do it quickly. So first you do the determinant, and then put one over it, then work it. And we move on to number eight, our next matrix um, type problem for the matrix X, negative one, four, two, the determinant is nine. Find the value of X. And again, they give you this. The determinant of a matrix A, B, C, D is A, D minus B, C. Once you know that, just put your numbers in and work it and get your answer for X. So I want to expose you to different type questions they can give you for matrices so that you can work them. Look back at the other tests we did and you'll see other type questions you can have that they could possibly give you. And we move on to number 12, algebra. Clem is x plus 1 years old. Ron is x plus 5 years older than Clem. A, write an expression using x to show their combined ages and B, calculate how old each person is if their combined ages is 49. So, common sense question here for algebra with ages if you're unsure use numbers so if you say Clem is 5 and 
Ron is three years older than Clem. Then see how the numbers operate. Then use the letters and do the same thing. Simple. So do A first. Remember, Ron is X plus five years older than Clem. He isn't that old. He's older than Clem, and that's important. Okay, got it? Number 13. Simplify algebra again. 6A squared B to the fifth C over 8A cubed B squared C squared. And remember from the previous test, I told you, you just can write these numbers out and then cancel out. So put 6, A times A, B times B times B times B times B times C on top. And on the bottom, do the same thing and then cancel out where you can. Your numbers, then cancel out with your letters. How many A's and A, where the A would be on the top or bottom. Same thing for the B or the C. And what numbers you would have on top and bottom. So go ahead, cancel it out, work it. You don't need to calculate for that one. Number 14, algebra again, factorize. 4x squared minus 5x minus 6. And you're just factorizing, give the factors. You're not solving. So now here you have to look at the 4 and look at the 6 at the back. And then you must get the negative 5 in the middle. So let me see. You can do trial and error. Put your numbers down. Cross multiply. Make sure you get negative 5 in the middle. And you get negative 6 when you multiply at the back. Negative 5 when you add. Negative 6 when you multiply. Trial and error, guys. Calculator can't help you here. And we move on to number 15, algebra again. Simplify, and you have an algebraic fraction. 1 over x plus 1 plus 2 over x minus 2. They just want you to simplify it, so work it down. Work it like you'd work a regular fraction where you have 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Okay, it's the same processes involved with the algebraic fractions that you use when you're doing the normal fractions. You're adding fractions. Work it quickly. And we move on to algebra again, number 16. And I'm, I'm dealing a lot with algebra for a reason. You may have a lot of algebra on the test. If y is equal to mx plus c, a find c when y is equal to 2x equal to negative 2 and m is equal to negative 1. B, make M the subject of this formula. So go ahead, work it quickly, put your numbers in, and find C, and then make M the subject. Be careful with the negative, with the negative two and the negative one. The calculator can help you here if you need it. inequalities number 17 8 solve 2 in bracket 3 minus x is less than 2x minus 8 and then you have to re represent the solution on a number line and see hence list the integers that are solutions to this inequality go ahead work it quickly to the first part solve it and then use that to represent the solution on a number line remember how to do that look back at syllabus test Two, and you would see or test one and then list the integers that are solutions to this inequality based on what you did in A. Go ahead, work it quickly, you can get this done. Good, and we move on to number 18, simultaneous equations. Two numbers x and y are such that x is greater than y. The sum is 10 and the difference is 2, right? The simultaneous equations for this information. Do that quickly, simple. And B, solve the simultaneous equations to find the numbers X and Y. So don't get confused where they say such that X is greater than Y. You need that because when they say the difference is 2, you must write it in a particular way. So that's why they give you that bit of information. Don't let it confuse you. Go ahead, work it, get it done. Simple numbers you're dealing with. Calculator can't help you here. 
Just work it. Got it? And we move on to number 19, functions. The functions f and g are defined as follows, where f of x equals 3x minus 7 and g of x is 6 minus x. A, write the counting numbers for which f of x is less than g of x. And B, find f to the negative 1 or the inverse of f. So see how they mixed up the first part where they, they made sure put that give you is less than something to work it. So you must be able to apply what you know in algebra to, to these things. And the inverse, there's a particular way to work it. Look back at syllabus 2 and you would see how to work it. You must know that strategy. And we move on to number 20, geometry. There's a diagram below to find the following angles. And they want 2x and they want what? 3x is. Now they don't want x. So you, when you find x, you must multiply and tell me what 2x, the angle that 2x represents and the angle that 3x represents in this diagram. You have two parallel lines, a pair of parallel lines cut by a transversal. That's your clue, guys. Work it. Algebra again involved in geometry. Do it quickly. And we move on to number 20 vectors. The diagram shows a parallelogram A, B, C, D. T is the midpoint of DA of vector DA and vector DT is equal to C. Vector DC is equal to V. And they want you to find in terms of V and or C vector D, B. And B, R is the point on T, vector TC such as vector TR is equal to one-third vector TC. Use a vector method to prove that DRB is a straight line. A lot of working to do. Do A quickly because in B, you have to do a lot of working. So get to it and see if you can get that done. There is a way you can prove that DRB is a straight line. You have to do something first. And then you would show that it is a straight line. Got it? Okay, sets and Venn diagrams. Given that the universal set is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16, M is 4, 16, and N is the set 2, 4, 6, 8. List the elements for that one in 1 and 2. Find what they have there for 2. I'm not going to read it for you because once I read it, you know how to read it. You need to know how to read these questions in order to solve it. So go ahead, work number one, then work number two. Got it? And we move on to number 23, mensuration. From the diagram, calculate um, A, the length of DE, and B, the area of A, B, C, D, E. So do it quickly. The length of DE is straightforward. The area of ABCDE, you have to do two calculations to work that. So you need to get cracking at it. Go ahead, get it done. You can work that. Once you understand the diagram. So there's no set formula to find the area of ABCDE. You must find some areas first and then you have to do something to find that area that they want you to find. Once you can look at the diagram and understand what you have to do, then you're, you're straight, you're set. And that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay, number 24, scale drawings. The drawing below shows a sketch of a side wall of a shed. And a, using a scale of 2 centimeters to 1 meter, make an accurate scale drawing of the wall. And b, measure the length of the roof on the scale drawing, expressing your answer in meters. So go ahead, you need your attractor because remember you're drawing this to scale and then use your compass. Make sure you have your angles of 90 degrees. <coughs> OK, 
okay, we move on to number 25, graphs. The graph shows the growth of a pea plant over a period of days at the Bahamas Agriculture Marine Services Institute. A. Find the number of days after planting that the height reached 60 centimeters. B. During which 10 day period did the height increase the least? And C. How much higher was the pea plant after, 90, after 60 days than after 40 days? Do it quickly, work it out, get it done. Got it. And we move on to number 26, measures of central tendency. The graph shows the marks on a test for 100 students. A, from the graph, calculate the median, and B, calculate the interquartile range. So A is straightforward, the median. B, you have to do two calculations to work it. So you should know how to, to attack a, a measures of central tendency question like this, where they give you the graph, the cumulative frequency graph. So for the interquartile range, you have to know what to do. So learn it and then practice it. Look at tests one and two and you'd see more examples. Got it? And we move on to number 27 graph. Plot the graph of y is equal to x squared plus x minus three for values of x between negative two and, three and two. Use two centimeter to represent one unit on the x-axis, one centimeter to represent one unit on the y. That's important. Use two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis and one centimeter to represent one unit on the y-axis. Don't forget that. Use the graph to find the approximate value of y is equal to x squared plus x minus three is equal to one. You need to know what to do there. Something simple you have to do to find the solution for that, the approximate values for that. Remember, put your table, draw your table so they can see it for A. When you're plotting your graph, they have to see the table you're using, so make sure you put that on the paper. And we move on to trigonometry 28. Alan Surveyor needs to calculate the length of Lake Kalani from point X to point Y. His measurements are EY is 0 0.9 kilometers, AX is 1.5 kilometers, and angle X, A, Y is 76 degrees. Calculate the length of lake x, y correct to one decimal place. And they gave you the rule you need to use, the cosine rule. Um, you, I gave it there for you. You would have to pick it out of the ones they give you. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. So stick your values in and you'll be able to work it. Remember, you're going to have to pick out the, which cosine rule to use. So just use your common sense. Look at what they give you and then use the one that fits. And we move on to 29 bearings. The mailboat current prize sailed from Prince George Wharf in Nassau to Spanish Wells, Elutra, on a bearing of 045 degrees for 95 kilometers. It then sailed from Spanish Wells to the current on a bearing of 160 degrees for 50 kilometers. What is the bearing of Nassau from Spanish Wells? Mm, you can get it done. So remember, you want the bearing of Nassau from Spanish Wells. Some simple calculations and you will have the answer. Use the 45 degrees, that's important at first. Got it? 30 probability. Tourists arrive on the island of Elutra either by air A or by CS. While on Elutra, they either take in an island excursion E or do not N. The probability that a tourist arrives by air A is 7 tenths. If a tourist arrives by air, the probability of an excursion E is 3 fifths. If a tourist arrives by C, the probability of not going on an excursion N is 4 fifths. A. Copy and complete the following tree diagram and B. Calculate the probability that a tourist arrives by air and does not go on an excursion. So work it quickly. Some simple things you have to do. Complete the tree diagram first, put your fractions in. And you must know how to work tree diagrams. You just look at the previous test they will show you some other examples, but it's pretty simple once you know what to do. Construction 31. 
Construct a triangle ABC where angle ABC is 60 degrees and AB is 5 centimeters, BC is 6 centimeters. Give the length of AC to the nearest centimeter. So get out your compass and do your construction of the 60 degree angle and get your 5 centimeter line and your 6 centimeter line. Then measure from A to C. Give that answer to the nearest centimeter. There you would have it. Remember, I'm looking for your construction marks in this. Use a pencil. I need to see those arcs. Then check your answer. Make sure it's 60 degree angle using your protractor. But you do not use that to help you construct. Number 32, differentiation. Given that y is equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x minus 2, calculate dy or dx, a and b, the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal to 2 and c, the values of x at which the tangent to the curve is parallel to the x-axis. So a and b, straightforward, get to c. That part would carry the most points. The values of x at which the tangent to the curve is parallel to the x-axis. And C would be, is where you do the most working. So go ahead, get it, work it out. They give you the clue. It's parallel to the x-axis. And we move on to number 33, the circle in the diagram. O is the sign of the circle, A, B, C, D. Angle A, C, D is equal to 63 degrees. Calculate the value of angle A, O, D. A, O, D. Go ahead, work it. Use what you know from what they give you. So you got to use that 60 degree, the 63 degrees to help you work. To find the angle that you need to find. And usually it's some simple things you look for and then you're straight. And we move on to number 34 transformations. Draw A, draw and label the points. A, 3, 2, B, 3, 4, C, 4, 2 to form the triangle ABC. B, rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about the origin to form the angle, the, the image A1, B1, C1. Draw and label this image. C, reflect triangle ABC in the Y axis to form the image A2, B2, C2. Draw and label this image. And D, translate triangle ABC using the vector negative 6, negative 5 to form the image a3 b3 c3 draw and label this image so a lot to get done go ahead get working these questions would carry a lot of points so you have to be able to do transformations so draw it first then i need you to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise then i need you to reflect it in the y-axis then translate it okay here we get to the best part now we're dealing with the answers guys let's see what you did for number one integers the answers are um, square root of 10 and pi and then square root of 49 2 and then negative 8 ne um, square root of 49 is 7 and then 1 2 27 1 and then 1 27 I hope you got all of those correct remember don't get full square root of 49 is 7 so that's a prime number and that's also an integer only one square number one but two cube numbers one is 1 times 1 times 1 and 27 is 3 times 3 times 3 let's move on to number 2 Factors and multiple. You have to find the LCM of 75 and, and and 105, and the LCM of that was 525 divided by 60, and that's where you get 8 and 3 quarters. So 8 minutes and 45 seconds. 3 quarters of a minute is 45 seconds. 8 minutes, 45 seconds, guys. You needed to know how to do the LCM to work that one out. I told you that at the beginning. Okay, number 3. Uh, you when you use a calculator you would get 0 0.087560975 then write that correct to two significant figures remember zeros at the front and not significant or at the back so you go to the 87 so it becomes 88 because there's a 5 after the 7 and then one decimal place 0 0.1 number after the point 0 0.1 because there's an 8 after the 0 so those strategies you need to know how to do and do pretty quickly in order to work questions out dealing with decimal places and significant figures number four rate so worked out a the cost of 3.5 kilograms would be eleven dollars 62 cents and then b if the food costs 4.98 then divide that 
and you'd get 100, that's 100 and 150 kilograms in order for it to cost $498. Got those correct? You had to use a calculator to work those out. And we move on to number five percentage. So you subtract his savings was 40, take away 26, 14 dollars, and then express it as a percentage. So it'd be 14 or 40 times 135 percent. You should calculate it and you could have worked that simply. So don't let the percentage part through you because all you do is do as they say 14 or 40 times 100. They wanted us over the regular price. Okay, holiday loading. For this one, it worked out to be for the week. Remember, they wanted for the week. So you divide it by 52, 52 weeks in the year, and you get 807, and then calculate um, one, 70 and a half percent of 807, $948, $948, 23 that's, cents. That's what you'd get at the end when you use your calculator and work it out. Okay, when you apply the holiday loading, and I showed you how I did it. Number seven fractions. So the fact candles that were white would be 124. So you have to add, um, you have one third, add one third, three eighths, and, and then see what fraction would be left. And then the total number of candles on cake would be 48 candles because one quarter of, of a number is two. So that number has to be 48. For the first part, just have to add them up and then take it away to see what's left. Okay, we move to eight exponents. A of x is two times ten negative five. Y is five ten to the two. X y is one times ten to the negative two. We have to write in exponent form. And two x divided by y is four times ten to the negative eight. You could have used your calculator and just worked out um, two times ten to the negative five. See what that is, and then multiply that by five hundred, and then divide it by five hundred to get your answer right away. Your calculator would help you here, guys. Number nine, you have to do the indices and radicals. So evaluate a half to the negative three. So it's one over change it to a positive. And then you have to divide by this. So you multiply, so eight on the top. And B, <clears throat> when you simplify that, you would get four A squared. Because um, eight to the two thirds is four. And then A to the third power times two thirds is A squared. Okay, we move on to number 10 matrices and they, you have to find inverse and they give you the formula to find it so do the determinant and put it over one so then you'd end up at one fifth at the front and then in the brackets for the matrix you'd get negative two five two fifths negative one fifth negative one fifth final answer we have it underlined in red that would be the matrix with, that shows the answer just use the formula and then you can put your numbers in and work it out the next matrices question is number 11, the finding x, and x is 2.5. Because for the determinant AD minus BC, um, when you work that, 2x plus 4 is equal to 9, so x is 2.5. Just stick your numbers in, use the formula, and then you'd get it. The good thing is they give you formulas for, for these things, so you just, know how to use, you just need to know how to use it number 12 algebra claim is x plus 1 so the combined ages is x plus 1 plus x plus 5 is 2x plus 6 and for Ron so you add that to x plus 1 you get 3x plus 7 and then how old each person is Clem was 15 and Ron is 34 once you stick your values in you'd be able to get it because x worked out to be 14 so 14 plus 1 is 15 and then for Ron is 3x plus 7 work it and get it. Algebra, simplify. Remember I told you you can put actually list the, the values, the things that you have. So you finally end up with 3 on the top, 3B cube on the top and on the bottom 4AC. Okay, and then all you got to do is cancel out like I did and you see what you left it on the top or what you left it on the bottom and just write your final answer based on that. Number 14, algebra factorize. So you have to factorize and remember trial and error. So I did 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 1, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 2, 1, 3, and worked out. And remember, I want to add to get negative 5, multiply to get negative 6. So it only has to be a 4x plus 3, and then x minus 2 is the only one that worked to give me that. And you just want to write your factors, and that's it. But you have to use trial and error, guys.
and number 15 algebra you have the algebraic fraction and the LCM is x plus 1 times x minus 2 worked out to be 3x over x plus 1 x minus 2 or you can work out the bottom x plus 1 x minus 2 to put that on the bottom of the 3x would be the same thing okay but you can leave it like that and that would be sufficient because nothing else can cancel and number 16 algebra again y is equal to mx plus c let's put your values in and then you would get that c is equal to 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and then you make m the subject so m would be equal to y minus c over x final answer just need to know how to move things around to make something the subject And we move on to number 17, inequalities, we have to solve it. So when you solve it, x would be greater than 3.5. So you have to put on the number line, you put 3.5 and, and you put the circle without it being closed. And then moving to the right. So your solutions would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. So all of the numbers from 4 going on up would be your... So remember, you only want the integers as the solutions. So that's why you don't need the fractions. Okay, number 18, simultaneous equation. So the first one, x plus y is 10, and then x minus y is 2. And that's to be x minus y, not y minus x, because x is greater than y. And then solve it. So x is 6, and then y worked out to be 4. Once you get 6, you, you add x plus y is equal to 10, x minus y is equal to 2, add them, and you get rid of the y's. So you get x, and then you substitute it into 1 to get y. That's it, simultaneous equations, guys. Number 19 functions. So you worked out A, right, the counting numbers. And the counting, since X is less than 3.5, and they want the counting numbers, you must start from, it must be one, from one on up. So it's one, two, three would be the answers for that. And then the inverse is X plus seven over three. Remember when you work it, you put Y is equal to three X minus seven. And then at the end, you substitute the for the y you substitute x back into it okay and geometry number 20 is diagram remember when you find x x is 36 but you want what 2x is 2x is 72 and then 3x is 108 once you find what x is because on a straight line 2x plus 3x is equal to 180 degrees so you use that to help you solve it And remember, they wanted 2x. What is 2x and what is 3x? Not what is x. Number 21, vectors. So you have to work this quickly. First, you have to find, so db would be 2c plus v. And then to prove it's a line, it's a straight line, one, one part must be a multiple of the other. So if rb is a multiple of dr, then it's a straight line. And that's what we prove because we have one third 2c plus v and then two thirds 2c plus v. So then one has to be a multiple of the other. Okay, number 22, the sets and Venn diagrams. So the, the number one, the, the elements of M intersection N1, what's not an N is 16. And then the N, M union, N union that, and then how many members in that would be five. You don't count a number twice. So it'd be two, four, six, eight, 16. So it'd be five numbers in, in the union number 23 mensuration you have to from the diagram calculate the length of d worked out to be used by Tigris and you get 15 meters and then the area of that would be the area of the whole rectangle minus the area of the triangle that's all you do find the area of the whole rectangle 25 21 and the triangle the half that would be 375 square meters remember to put your answer in square units for the area and that's it when you subtract then you you have it number 24 the scale drawing so first you draw the shed make sure you get your 90 degree angle you can construct them if you want uh, or use your protractor to um, do your 90 degree angles and then do your lines numbers going up and then you measure the length of the roof and that it worked out to be 2.25 meters you have to express your answer in meters so that worked out to be 2.25 once you worked it out change the centimeters to meters Okay, and for the graph, the number of days after planning, the height is 60, is 56. And then it, the least increase would be 10 to 20 days. And how much higher was the peak plan after 60 days and then 40 days? 
find the 60 number, 73 find the 40 number, 28 to get 45 centimeters. So it's important for you to, to be very accurate on the graph you, in questions like these. Number 26 measures and trying to see the median. Once you draw the middle line, so 50, find 50. Draw it to the graph, you get draw it down, you get 42. And then the quartile range is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. Upper minus low is 52 minus 32, 20 marks. So you need to know how to find the interquartile because they, they don't tell you you subtract it. You need to know how to, to find it and then subtract to get the interquartile range. Again, you have to be very accurate when you're doing this. Number 27, plot the graph. The table is there and you have to put the table on the graph so they can see it, that that's what you're using to plot it. And then when for, for B, once you've done that, for B, you have to find the values, find the approximate value of y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 3 equal to 1. That's y is equal to 1 because y is that and y is 1. So you draw, draw the line on the graph y is 1 and see where it intersects with the curve. And that would be give you your values and you have to be very accurate. Here I show you the graph that's drawn. And then remember for the x is um, 2 centimeters. For, for the x scale and then 1 to 1 for the y and then I show you the points of intersection where y is equal to 1 draw that graph the green line straight through is y is equal to 1 and the circles would be the answers for x and again you have to be very accurate in giving your answers for x for b on the question that you had 28 trigonometry so you have to use the cosine rule just put your numbers in the cosine rule and use a calculator cosine of 76 times the back part and you'd end up with an answer of 2.4 kilometers for the length of the lake okay so once you know what rule to use then um, it depends on what they give you they give you two angles then use the one with angles if they give you the one angle and two sides then use the one with the one angle and two sides bearings 29 um, you need the you see the blue line shows you the bearing you need from Spanish wealth so the bearing you need would be the 160 plus a missing angle and that missing angle the first thing you can find use the 45 is between two parallel lines so it's 135 and then that helps you to find a 65 so the bearing would be 225 225 degrees the bearing of nasa from spanish wells once you found the 65 then you're straight 30 probability tree diagram and the probability that trees arise by copy you have to complete the tree diagram first so see the numbers I have in red those will be the numbers you put in and then for B the probably the tourists arrive by A and not go on excursion so you need 7 over 10 times 2 fifths 7 when you reduce it you get 7 20 fifths and that would be a final answer for B okay and I identified the limb that you need to work that as well constructions I'm um, here to construct triangle and so use your your compass and you do your construction of a 60 degree angle first and then do your 5 centimeter line and your 6 centimeter line and measure from A to C after you've done that so to the nearest centimeter it's 6 centimeter this one was pretty close because it was like 5.5 or 5.6 is more like 5.6 so it worked out to be 6 centimeter to the nearest centimeter differentiation and your dy or dx 6x squared minus 10x minus 4 and I show you how to do the differentiation for the gradient and then B worked out to be the gradient of the curve at the point where x is 2 is 0 and then C once you put you want it parallel to the x axis so x would work out to be negative one third or x is equal to 2 once you, um, you do make the gradient equal to 0 when it's parallel to the x axis gradient is equal to 0 that's how you get your final values for the circle finally um, you have to work out A O D and you can use I did it the long way where you find um, 54 or you can do the short way it's 63 times 2 because it, it subtends from the same arc so 63 times 2 126 and transformations uh, now you have to draw these so I'm going to do it give you the answers in parts so I'm going to have the first one where I draw it the triangle the second part for B where I rotated it 90 degrees clockwise and then C I reflected it in the y-axis and D would be where I translated using the vector negative 6 negative 5 so I'm going to show you each slide so you'd see exactly 
what I did. So the first one, okay, here is where you plot your points. So remember, you put your x, y axis, and then you have to do 3, 2, label it A, 3, 4, B, and 4, 2 with C. So you plot those points, and then you draw your triangle in. And that's the first step, because you have to use this to do the rest of the question. So this is important that you be able to plot it and draw it in and then use it for B. Okay, you have to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So you attach your lines to it, the green lines, and then move that 90 degrees clockwise. And that's where it end up. And remember, you have to turn the die, the triangle. In, and to get that, just turn the paper 90 degrees clockwise. And whatever you see, that's how that triangle should be placed on your graph. Okay, so just turn the paper and see how it's drawn and then draw it. And then when you get to draw it the right way and put A1, B1, C1. That's your rotation. Then you have to reflect it in the y-axis. So the same distance is away from the y. You um, put it to the right. You put the, same, the, put it the same distance away to the left. And just use your letters A. Match up your letters A2, B2, C2. And just draw it the same distance away. And just flip it on the other side. So that would be your reflection in the y-axis. And then the last one was to translate it using the vector negative 6, negative 5. So go to point B, go to any point, and since it's negative, you have to go to the left first and then go down because it's negative as well, and you'd end up where it is. And just draw it the same way. So you just a slide and then put A3, B3, C3, and then you're done. Okay, so that's how you'd be able to do a, a question like this. And these questions carry a lot of points. So remember to get it done. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Remember, um, we are not memorizing how to do a question, but memorizing, you are not memorizing, you are using strategies that would help you to work. Remember the paper, start to um, peruse the paper, do the easy questions first, get them out of the way, and do the questions with a lot of points, get them out of the way first, and get them done quickly. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.